In this video, as the title says, I'm going to tell you why expediting is a better choice than regular trucking or any other forms of trucking for not only new truckers who have just gotten into the industry, but veteran truckers who are tired of doing what they do. So let's start with new people, people just coming into the industry. You have no experience. You've just gotten out of school. You just got your CDL and you're brand new and you, and you really don't know where you want to go and why is this a better decision for you? Especially, and, and I want to please remember, I'm talking about team drivers. You have to have somebody that you drive with. It could be a same household team or it could be uh, somebody you know, a family member, whatever. But why is it a better decision? Why is it a better option for you? Well, one of the first reason, especially for new drivers, new CDL holders, there's a curve from earning potential that starts with somebody with lack of experience to when somebody's been driving three, four, five year, or more years. Uh, that is eliminated in expediting. You go right to, I wouldn't say the top of the earning potential, but you can go to the higher tier of earning potential. Most drivers who started out in the industry, especially as solo drivers, even team drivers, they're looking at an earning potential of around thirty dollars to $35,000 a year. Combined, that's about sixty to seventy thousand dollars a year for a household or thirty to thirty five thousand dollars a person in expediting right away right out of the gate you're gonna go right to about sixty thousand dollars a person average hundred twenty thousand dollars to a same household team if you are not same household you're just team drivers you're splitting that but you're still making sixty thousand dollars a year average as a veteran trucker somebody that's already been out on the road veteran team somebody that's looking for a change why is this better there's a few reasons i've already told you about the money that you can earn what i didn't tell you was that you could be making that money right now you could be making more especially a team but teams that are successful and are making as much money as we are or making more they're usually r running somewhere between five to seven thousand miles a week five is really low now if you want to decrease the miles that you drive and keep your income relatively the same or maybe a little bit better or maybe a little bit less depending on what you're doing there are teams out there that are driving 7,000 miles a week all year long they see the roads in the united states at 65 to 75 miles per hour this is not that you're going to drive probably 2,500 to 3,500 miles a week there's gonna be some downtime. You're gonna be driving a, a smaller truck that's only 40 feet long versus a tractor trailer that has a 53 foot trailer with a tractor. You're pushing 80 feet. You're looking for parking. You have a lot of problems. You don't have that. We create spots. You see us on the road already. You see our trucks and you go, what is that funny little truck? That's us. That's what we do. Our freight is a lot less than what you're carrying. You're just carrying truckload, LTLs. So you have drop and hook. Sometimes you gotta go find a trailer and there's that problem of finding out, inheriting another driver's problem because they leave trailers on the yard that have flats or faulty equipment. Now you have to deal with that. That's not gonna happen with us. You're gonna have freight that's lo mostly no touch freight. You might have to secure it with some straps. It's very, very minimal compared to what veteran drivers and truckload drivers and LTL are dealing with. We are not dealing with that. So the biggest challenge for you guys is, you know, you're used to running miles and if you're not rolling, you know, you feel like you're not making money. You're making a percentage of revenue over here. Whatever revenue the truck produces, you're gonna make 40% to the truck or 20% per driver. That is a lot different, especially when these trucks are making upwards of $300,000 a year in gross revenue. If you're making 40% of that amount, you're gonna be driving half the miles for that kind of money. Some people are willing to take that pay cut to have that lifestyle and have a smaller truck and have a kitchen in their truck and have direct TV with in-motion satellite, have a refrigerator, freezer, you know, some of them have bathrooms. There's a lot of reasons to do that. It's a lifestyle change for a veteran driver. I hope this explains why 
expediting is a better option than what's out there right now for new people and for veterans. If it's something that you think that you would like to do, you'd like to email me and, and, and find out. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. Talk to you later. Bye.